She's Jewish. That's a lot of money. There's a policeman who'll arrange everything for 600 guilders. And then she'll need a place to hide. Someone is calling for this within the hour. Mr. Jan Vogel. It's from Ermelo. His wife's been taken. It's for a bribe. Oh, you are impossible. Now, here. I'll take care of it. Now, will you please go to bed? Wil Willem and Tina are coming. You can come down later. And be sure and call. I will. And use the steam kettle. Today, the Lord would have us read from Romans, chapter 8. What then can separate us from Christ's love? Can hardship or calamity? Can persecution or abuse? If we are hungry or poor or in danger or threatened with death, does that mean that God has deserted us? No. Despite all this, we have overwhelming victory through Christ who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor the powers of heaven, nor the powers of hell itself can keep God's love from us. Nothing in the world as it is, or the world's as it shall be, in the forces of the universe, creation will ever be able to separate us around the side door come on until two o'clock. Uh, Mr. Bomer, I have an appointment with your sister. Mr. Uh, Fogel. I need the money. Now. Yes, of course. I'll get it. Please. Mr. Bomer. Yes, everyone. Come on. Hurry. Please, Mr. Bomer. Yes. Yes, in a moment. I'm just collecting it. Ten bomb. Ten bomb. Elizabeth. Where do you hide your ration cards? I don't know what you're talking about. Help! Where are the juice? What juice? Help! Lord Jesus, help! Lebensmittelmarken und Radio. Cory. This must stop. 
there's been no wrong done in this house. Then what are you doing with all these ration cards? Feeding an army? What does it say in that book of yours about obeying the government, hmm? There comes a time when we must choose between God and man. And you can die in your bed, old man, where you belong. If I stay behind, I will open my door to anyone who knocks for help. Close it up. Seal the house. Take my hand. 